place at this time going on internal power. T minus 45 seconds and counting. Guidance aligned just announced by John Young. That will be the last action taken by the crew aboard the spacecraft. T minus 35 and counting. Countdown continuing to go well. T minus 30. T minus 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. Guidance release. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engine's now building up to 7.7 million pounds of thrust. We have a launch commit and we have a liftoff. The swing arms moving back. The Saturn V lifting off the power. Alpha pad building up thrust. We clear the tower. Ah. Houston is now controlling. Oh, you have good thrust in all five. Roger. Pitch and roll program started. Good. Roger. 16 now maneuvering to his proper uh, flight path attitude. Mark 27 seconds. And the sound is just beginning to hit us. 36 seconds, roll program completed. Pitch pull the hospital in progress. 40 seconds. Mark 50 seconds, cabin pressure relieving, adjusting now from sea level to a space environment. Two nautical miles in altitude. Stand by, hold one Bravo. Roger, Mark, one Bravo. Your feet wet now, 16. Roger. That's call up from Capcom. Gordon Fullerton says Apollo 16 now capable of water landing. Mark 1 minute 12 seconds coming up on period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. They're already over the speed of sound. 1 minute 22 seconds. 6 nautical miles in altitude. Looking good. Mark 1 minute 30 seconds. 8 nautical miles in altitude. Mark, one minute, 41 seconds. Pass through Max Q, still looking good. Get through Max Q, and everything looks good. The period of maximum 16, pressure on the spacecraft, Max Q. Miles in altitude, young Duke Mattingly moving out to the outer traces of the Earth. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Roger, with Mark, one, Charlie. Mark, two minutes, three seconds, a status check and mission control by Flight Director Gene Kranz, a go, no, go for staging. Coming up on center engine shutdown. Center engine shutdown. You're go for staging. Ready for staging. Any shutdown on time. Two minutes twenty-eight seconds. Twenty-six nautical miles in altitude. To Thirty-two nautical miles downrange. Ten seconds of shutdown. Separation. Two minutes thirty-five seconds. You should really see it blow. Two minutes forty seconds. Coming up on staging. And there she goes. A crowd here cheering. Ignition on the S2. Roger. Two minutes fifty-three seconds. A normal staging. Your young Duke Mattingly now riding on five good second stage engines. Go on all five on the S2. Three minutes two seconds. The giant first stage falling away now. It's a day's work completed. Apollo sixteen. Eight seconds to when the launch escape tower goes. Nautical miles down range. Coming up on skirt step and uh, tower jettison. Ground, ground time. Roger. Tower jettison. The tower's gone. Roger, and uh, we confirm your skirt step. You're mode two now. Roger, mode two. Three minutes, 28 seconds. The We're already at 330,000 feet. It's uh, surveillance roll no longer required. 5,600 miles an hour and about 100 miles yeah, downrange away from us. CMC is go. Mark, 3 minutes 45 seconds. Apollo 16, now 62 nautical miles in altitude, 135 nautical miles downrange. Apollo 16, now 33 feet shorter and 9,000 pounds lighter. Those men there in the firing room, now for its mission. watching every single figure for any sign of okay, malfunction at this stage. Minutes, everything looks great down here. Everything looks good up here, too. And everything it's looks great, to report there. Mark, 4 minutes 10 seconds. 
70 nautical miles. Look at that water going on the pad. I was telling you about before. 40,000 gallons a minute, cooling the pad down from the effect of that tremendous jet of flame as they lift it off there. Up about 400,000 feet, still going, no report of anything wrong at all. Seconds in mission control trajectory data driving right down the middle of our plot boards as expected. Uh, right now, flight path data is go. Right down the middle. What a tremendous liftoff that was. Mark, 4 minutes 45 seconds, 76 nautical miles in altitude, 220 nautical miles downrange. The speed now increased up to around 6 or 6,500 miles an hour. Only, only about uh, one-sixth of the fuel left. They've already used five-sixths of that fuel getting up to where they are at the moment. Five minutes and ten seconds Mark, into launch. Five minutes, ten seconds. Uh, still good performance on all five second-stage engines. Over 500 miles away, down range now, well out of the sight of any camera that we could possibly track it with. You can see the second stage ball of steam coming up minutes, there from that uh, launch seconds. pad. 16 Houston, times are nominal, level sense will be 8 plus 3, 7, and cut off. Times are nominal, everything seems to be going okay. Roger. Absolutely perfect flight. Mark 5 minutes 40 seconds, another status check. All Mission seems to be going absolutely perfectly for a good orbit. Green, so and we'll be here until time. after they start out to the moon, two and a half hours from now. If anything goes wrong, of course, we'll report it to you. Right, Off to Houston then, the then for the rest of the mission. So from us at Cape Kennedy, Mark after a beautiful, perfect launch of Apollo 16, good evening. Up on six minutes uh, with uh, Capcom Gordon Fullerton reporting that 16 capable of reaching a minimum orbit with a good third stage and service module engines. We're at uh, 6 minutes, 8 seconds, uh, Apollo 16, 88 nautical miles. London, altitude, thank you very much. This is Dick. Those cues, those cues sounding wonderful. Well done.